at Madison Elementary in Norman, Oklahoma, and joining us is Allie Otis, who is the fourth and fifth grade GT teacher, as well as the head gardener. And you, you can see the beautiful garden that we're standing in, the school garden. Tell us a little bit about how this came to be. It, it looks like it's been here for a long time. Well, it's been here for about a year and a half. We started with the idea of having a small salsa garden, uh -huh. and um, we started having way too much fun, <laughs> and we got a few grants, and the kids were so into it that we started adding on um, and now we're almost in over our heads <laughs> but we have about 6,000 square feet of gardening space now um, a full pollinator garden a monarch way station and a pumpkin patch oh my God. so um, it has expanded uh, I mean we're five years further along than we thought we would be at this yes. time it happened quick so it looks like you're using a couple of different methods of raised beds. You've got pallet gardening mm -hmm. and you've got some um, paver uh, raised beds here. Yeah. What was your expectations when you first started this and, and what were you hoping for? Um, we were hoping to have enough space that we could really integrate math and science into some of our curriculum and have um, some of the upper grades really involved in developing our garden. So one of the big questions with school gardens is who takes care of it during the summer? Mm -hmm. I mean, how did all that It's a challenge, and I would say uh, the biggest challenge with a school garden is water. It's something you always got to think about because of Oklahoma, it's hot, hot. <laughs> um, so we have teachers rotate take through in the summer. Um, they sign up for three or four days in the summer just to be in charge of watering for that day. And uh, they rotate through and, you know. So obviously a, a, a team is what makes this work so yes, well, a team for, of people. But it takes a lot of teachers who, um, you know, are interested in um, participating in it and willing to come and do some some weed pulling. We like to say yeah. you can pick anything that you want as long as you include a weed. Okay, well, <laughs> and you mentioned you, a grant. So yes. we have a greenhouse now. We not have a school, great greenhouse. Not many school gardens mm, have a greenhouse. No, it's wonderful. Was that a yep. grant that provided that? Yes, so we have a wonderful greenhouse that uh, Norman Public Schools Foundation gave us a grant that started it, and then um, Lowe's helped make it even bigger and with shelving, and it has automatic heat, and um, the fans come on when it's too hot so we're able to have it climate controlled throughout the year That's so excellent. yeah so our seeds start in the you know coldest of February That's, we're already going That's yeah. neat. Well, and I've noticed you've created some other little spaces if we can go look at them yeah. so you've got your your I wash have, station we have and a full got a wash station out here um, yes we have an outdoor classroom um, we have a shed with all of our tools rain barrels rain and barrels um, we have a watering system that we have set up with some watering totes and PVC pipe yeah so, <laughs> resourceful so a little bit about the curriculum too you're utilizing the garden in all aspects of the curriculum let's yeah. talk a little bit about okay. that um, we do lots of science and math and technology we always have our iPads are in the garden a lot we do lots of of, um, scavenger hunts, lots of data collection. Mm -hmm. um, so we set up Google Forms quite often and, and today that's one of the things they're doing is collecting seeds and they have to log what they are and they're measuring potatoes and they have to log the you know the circumference and the length and they weigh them. Right. So a lot um, of STEM curriculum as well as curriculum. art and things like that. Oh, yeah, we do art and um, one of the things that's not directly in our curriculum but that I love um, a lot of these students have such immediate gratification right now that it's really nice to see them have to nurture things mm -hmm. for a long period of time. They have to water it and make sure it gets sun and then they get to see something that it produces, but it's three months later. Yeah. But have you seen a difference in the students about how they're understanding their comprehension of the subject matter? And stuff? Oh yeah, for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So any last advice for anybody that's thinking about doing this, either a teacher or a parent? Um, uh, I mean, I absolutely think that you should do it. It's um, it's work, but it's fun work. Mm -hmm. um, the kids love it. Every time I walk down the hall, when are we going to go to the garden? Can we go to the garden today? Can we come at recess? I mean, they just, they love it. And it's so easy to incorporate your curriculum. Every okay. time that I see something, I think, oh, we can do that for, that can cover that. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's, it's. It takes care just, of itself. It huh? does, and it's so fun, and the kids love it, and they've learned so much from it. Um, and I've had a great time, and I did not know what I was doing, but I YouTube it, or I start to research it, and then I make myself not research it because I tell the kids they need to go uh, research right. it. So yeah. if we have a bug, 
go figure out what it is. That's the learning yeah. process. Yeah. Yep. And last year we um, had our students were, um, our four, third, fourth, and fifth grade were all assigned a vegetable, a fruit, an herb, and a flower. And they had to be in charge of it. So I would say, who are my onion people? <laughs> What's happening to our onions? And they would have to go find out what was happening with that. Wow, well, so, this is fantastic. Thank I think y'all are doing an amazing job here at Madison Elementary Thanks. and I, I applaud you guys. So I appreciate it. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.